how to jailbreak your Switch in three minutes. The requirements for homebrewing your Switch are a Nintendo Switch, a micro SD card, a micro SD to USB adapter, a USB C to USB cable for that you can connect your Switch to your computer, and if you have an unpatched Switch, a RCM jig. Now, there are only two possibilities to jailbreak your Switch. You either have a mode chip installed in your Switch or you have an unpatched Switch. To check out if you have an unpatched Switch, you need to go to Is My Switch Patch. Then you will find a serial number here on the bottom left on your Switch, and then you will need to give in the prefix and the serial number for finding out if your Switch is unpatched, if it's patched or possibly patched. If it's unpatched, you're good to go. If it's patched, then you need definitely a mode chip inside. And if it's possibly patched, then just do this video with us and we will find it out. First, connect your micro SD card with the computer, go to AOMA Partition Manager, just download that if you don't have it, and make sure that your micro SD card is formatted to FAT32. After that, join our Telegram group, then click on the pinned message for that you can come inside the Telegram chat, and there you can go into homebrew packs and download the newest homebrew pack. Then as simple as that, copy paste everything from the homebrew pack into your micro SD card. Eject your micro SD card, put it back in your switch. If you have a mode chip in your switch, click on the power button and you will go into Hecate. If you have an unpatched switch, then make sure to connect your Nintendo Switch with your computer. Make sure that you have your RCM jig slided in just like me here. And then make sure to hold the volume up button all the time while clicking once on the power button. Then go to your computer and download Tigra RCM from the website. Once you have the zip file of Tigra RCM, take the folder out of the zip to your desktop. While it's loading, you can go to the homebrew pack and take the payload point bin out of the homebrew pack to your desktop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once Tigra RCM is on your desktop, open it up. Go to settings, install the driver, then go once again here back and click on this folder icon. Then you want to go to the payload point bin, click on inject payload. This will boot up Hecate on your Switch, which is the boot menu of the Switch. Then click on launch and then custom firmware sysnant. Now once it booted up, you can go here to the album and you can see that your Switch is fully jailbroken. Now if you would want to have the mega package in which I have like over 50 apps and much much more things inside one pack, go to patron, afterwards connect your patron with Discord in the settings and then go to Discord, download those four packs, put them all together with right clicking all together and then go to WinRAR, extract to mega package the version it has and then you will get the folder out of it in which you can like like before like only copy paste everything to your micro SD card. If it asks you to replace stuff then just click on replace and then just redo the stuff we did before for going into the custom firmware and at the very end you will have all of those apps. Now guys, this tutorial skipped like many many other security measures which you actually should do in a jailbreak but I just wanted to show you very very quick how you can jailbreak your switch. If you would want to have a comprehensive guide then make sure to click on this link because I will there explain everything from what is happening to what you need for that you are secure. So yeah guys, don't you ever forget to smile, my name is you, I hope I'll see you in the next video, peace. One time for the hometown, I got love for it, that's real. Yeah. Two times for the haters, man, cause I know this how this shit feel. Three times for my family, dog, cause this shit done paid our bills. Whoa. And I get four times my net worth from a year ago with no deal.